y'all welcome back i'm logan your favorite fit mom and this is wild fit where we talk all things fitness food mindset and hormones and i keep that shit simple af for y'all if you are a mama ready to be in her fit mom era then let's freaking go you can always find the link to apply to train with me one-on-one -on -one in the description you can also find the link to join my free facebook community fme where i go live every week and i host free fitness challenges every single month if you like my content here on youtube then please make sure you like comment share subscribe do all of the things that tell the social media gods you like my shit so they keep showing you more of it now y'all know i film my shit way in advance so i don't know what i got going on right now make sure you check the description to find all of the links all of the goods including again how to apply to train with me one-on-one, -on -one, join the Facebook community and anything else I got going on right now because I always got a lot of shit going on, but I don't know where I'm at when I'm filming. Okay. Um, now before I put y'all on the tea, that's actually coffee, which I'm not going to do today because I don't have it because we got another tutorial, baby. We are hitting them biceps, biceps on the menu. Normally I do buys and tries together, but I wanted to separate this uh, just for simplicity's sake. So we're just hitting the biceps, although you're also gonna feel it in your core and a little bit in the booty because you know we never actually just train one muscle group. We, we, we gotta get it all in. We're mamas. We gotta, we gotta get the most bang for our buck. All right, so I've put together my, I wanna say five, but it's technically six of my favorite beginner friendly bicep exercises. Uh, some of them are a little bit more dynamic, just slightly more. So we're tiptoeing into the realm of maybe an intermediate exercise, but still definitely beginner friendly, definitely available to all fitness levels. So uh, a couple of notes on form. We're again, finding that standard stance. So feet are about hips width distance, maybe slightly wider. Uh, tail, tailbone is slightly tucked. Core is always gonna be engaged. This is going to, going to be uh, your stance for most, if not, definitely not all. The first one, you're gonna be in a deep ape. It's deep ape bicep curl. So you're gonna find a malasana squat or a yogi squat as deep as you can go, uh, depending on your comfort level, depending on your range of motion. But that's my favorite way to do bicep curls because it's literally total body. Total body activation, it's so freaking good. And I'm pretty sure the rest of them, one of them is actually gonna be on your knees. So you'll notice that that one's slightly different also, but the rest of them, you're gonna be in that standard stance uh, that we've already covered before. Uh, in terms of weight, you're always going to want to choose a weight that is challenging to you. Uh, something that, you know, by your last couple of reps, you're really struggling to get it up there, but you're still able to maintain form. If you cannot lift it with proper form, then I'm sorry, you can't lift it. You cannot fucking lift it. You need to drop the weight, okay? But with that being said, challenge yourself, push yourself. I'm using 15s in the tutorial. You do not have to use what I use. Use whatever uh, meets you where you are, whether that's five, 10s, 15, 20s, you're gonna blow my ass right out of the park. Please do, by all means. I want all of the mamas to be as strong as humanly possible. So lift what feels best for you with maintaining proper form always. Okay, I think that's all I have to say. So let's get to work. All right, mama, starting strong with our deep ape curl. So find your malasana, toes pointed out, booty sinking low. And then we're just gonna do full range of motion bicep curls here, pressing into the inner thighs with the elbows and into the elbows with the inner thighs, making sure not to rock forward or back. Next up is Zotman curls. In your standard stance, you're gonna curl up and then rotate so the palms are facing out and lower down with control. All of this is with control. No momentum, no swinging, just nice and slow movement. Up next, kneeling hip hinge to curl. Find your standard stance, but on your knees instead of your feet this time. Extend through the arms, hinge at the hips, and sink the hips back to the heels. Lift the hips, squeeze the booty, and curl up. Again, no momentum. These next two kind of go hand in hand. I like to do them together. The first one is the halfway lift. So starting in your standard stance, you're gonna lift your dumbbell, but stop halfway and hold. Now you'll notice the second one is the halfway lower. So it's the second half. So starting all the way at the top, you're only going to lower halfway. This is gonna give you a nice juicy burn in those biceps. And then last but certainly not least, we have no monies. Find an isometric bicep hold here and then externally and internally rotate the shoulders as you squeeze between the shoulder blades. All right, now go crush those arms. See you next time.